Season six of Cobra Kai was revealed the other day. We obviously talked about that, obviously being a huge moment, you know, obviously Cobra Kai finally coming to the end. But there's also there's gonna be loads of other stuff from the Miyagi verse and obviously the Karate Kid universe coming in the future, books, TV shows, spin-offs, movies, whatever it will be. Of course, we'll keep you up to date with all of that. But today I want to talk about five things I wanna see. I want to see in the Cobra Kai sixth season, the final season. You know, we've had iconic moments, and obviously spoilers ahead, of course, if you are not seeing this. You know, you know, Johnny and Daniel reuniting and facing off against each other, the old Valley returning, Ali returning, um, Chosen and Silver and Trees and um Mike Barnes, Yumiko, the young girl who Daniel saved. You know, there's mentions of Miyagi and Sato, and obviously we went to Okinawa. Um, there's been different fight scenes we've seen, but we've not seen everybody fight each other. We've seen, yeah, we've seen Barnes um, fight goons, but he's not fought Silver. You know, I think the first, the first thing I want to see is it's going to be the fights, which fights do I want to see? I want to see Barnes fight Silver. He, you know, we've seen Johnny, Chosen, and Daniel fight Silver. All three lost, but Daniel won the second time. Um, So you want to see Barnes fight Silver. You want to see Kreese fight Silver. There are two fights you want to see. You want to see... Um, I think they're the big fights you want to see. Of course, you want to see Johnny and uh, and Chris team up. So they are together in that first one. You know, they're the three fights you want to see. Chris and Johnny team up. Barnes v. Silver and Chris v. Silver. Barnes v. Silver is a wishful thinking, but Chris v. Silver is more plausible. Hillary Swank has to appear i think it's a simple case of they've had everyone return or appear from the original four three films so i think the next karate kid to have hillary swank appear even if it's just a cameo at the world tournament i think would just be enough the world tournament appearance i think that has to be in it i think that 100 has to be in it and i think to have silver with an almighty legendary fighting team or something like that to assemble against this newly formed Cobra Kai, Miyagi Do, Ego Fang team, with all the senseis and all the characters you've ever known from the four films appearing under one roof. <clears throat> I think it's a lot to ask, but it's a world tournament, so everyone would be expected to tune in. Everyone who's had an involvement in the past six seasons, you'd expect to be at that world tournament, be supporting in one way or another. Um, I think it's as simple as this. The person of the world tournament can only be one of two people. Robbie or Sam. The two people who started the Cobra Kai journey who have not won a tournament. Eli's won, Miguel's won, and Robbie failed under Miyagi, though, in a way. He failed under Cobra Kai. Um, So you've got to be thinking... Uh, you've got your fights, you've got your return, you've got your tournament, you've got to be who's going to be winning that tournament. And I think most more likely than not, I think it should be Robbie. But again, it probably will be Sam because he she's the daughter of Daniel. And what better way to end the series has the Karate Kid win? I've always said Anthony, but I don't know if he's developed enough uh, to do so. And my fifth hope for the show is simply this. The endings episode after the tournament's wrapped up, after Silver's done his thing, he Johnny and Chris have a really good moment. Johnny gets married with um I, I can I know her name, Vanessa Kerbio. Um I have completely forgot her name. Uh Carmen. Carmen. So Johnny gets married to Carmen. They have a kid. Maybe there's, there's Maybe there'll be a small time skip in between the start of season five and six, or it'll be at the end of season six. And then we simply get Johnny being the victor, the hero, the winner. You know, his possible, if Robbie wins the tournament, his his son's just won the tournament. He's made up with his sensei. He has ended the war between all of past villains and heroes of the Cobra Kai universe. He's married the woman of his dreams. Um, and he's got a child. 
and you know Miguel's welcomed into the family as well so you've got two kids and one on the way and I think it'd just be such an amazing moment for everyone in the series to see that as the ending Daniel got his ending in the Karate Kid 3 beating Barnes and Johnny will get his ending in peace which I think would be a phenomenal ending. So, what are your thoughts about these picks? I have many more I want to go into more in depth, but these are just some of the ones I wanted to throw out there. Some of the more obvious ones, maybe, but I think that ending is the one I've been attached to the past couple of seasons, and I think Johnny deserves it more than anybody, and I think he, yeah, I think William Zapka, taking everything away from everybody, he has carried this show. Everyone else done a good job. Everyone's done a fantastic job, and there's no discredit to anybody. But what William Zapka's has done, he's made, a bit like what I'd say with Jeffrey D. Morgan did with Negan, but a different level, uh, because obviously Johnny didn't kill people. But I think he has truly changed what, what can happen to a scrawny, posh kid who was tormented by these this mentor who put him through hell, and he's redeemed himself through teaching and uniting and uh, maturing and, you know, now possibly marrying, I think it could be the ultimate end to a Karate Kid, Cobra Kai, Miyagi verse storyline that anybody who watches it can walk away from the series going, I am satisfied. And I, I know full well the trio of writers will write a perfect show, perfect ending to the show said the least, with no loose ends, no opens, and no way of bringing any of these characters back. I think that's what we want. They could do spin-offs with, you know, past characters, you know, a past version of Silver and Kreese, all that sort of stuff, but I don't think a sequel should be ever be in the hopes. And, you know, there's always ways of bringing him back, but I think if you put things in a place where Silver just walks away from everything, then you just leave it at that. So maybe Silver and Daniel will walk away holding hands. I don't know. But of course, they are my hopes for the time being. You guys let me down below your hopes. And of course, we'll talk about it in the comments if you obviously leave your hopes. Until next time, goodbye.